before we get going here on this Moose Malone Be a Pro video, I just wanted to take a second and thank you guys for 300 subscribers. <laughs> means a lot to me. Thank you so much for your support and your really nice comments and your likes and following me on Twitter and all that stuff. It's been really fun. So yeah, thanks. How's it going guys and welcome back to another Moose Malone Be A Pro video here in February 2020 episode 14. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let's take a look at the calendar, shall we? Up here was the overtime loss against the Monsters and then DiPietro went in for a three game spread. Firstly, uh, on the back to back, he went in against the Monsters. We got a 7-6 win, high scoring game. And then he went in against the Rocket with a 2-1 loss. And then he got absolutely boomed by Syracuse. We we're in against Laval, so let's take a look. In the simulation screen here against the Rocket. First period underway, 0-0 tie. Second period, looking good. Utica up by one. Let's go. Joe Levy gets one on Lacuvi. Lacuvi? All right, third period underway here in Utica against the Rocket. A big chance for the boys to take a stab at somebody above us in the standings. Evans takes one from the slot. Nice save. Not an easy target, these Laval Rocket as they break in. A lot of scoring threats, specifically Suzuki. He's in. Moose Malone with the save. And they're going to call that one off because, again, we're just getting run here. Wait a minute, I think they might be calling, looking at this for a kick. Let's take a look here. It's up on my pad, and then Suzuki's in the crease, and it finds its way in. We'll see. All right, the ref taking a look. What do we got? We got a no goal call. That is wicked. All right, well, the opening of the period doesn't get much more exciting than that. A goal against. It's called back. We're still up by one, and uh, the S word is still intact as Laval breaks it to the outside. He'll be down in the corner. Tried to get up to the point, but Bailey with the interception, and that guy got boomed. Bailey gets behind a check, though. He's in, takes a shot. Nice save off the toe. Here's Rafferty now from the corner. Goes up to Evans. Evans gets pushed off the puck. Lynn finds Bailey. He takes a shot. Top shelf. 2-0 Utica. That's what you want to see from Justin Bailey. Getting open on the other side of the rink, and he just roofs that one past the goaltender. I mean, he was out of position. I think he was screaming on the pass but still you got to get uh, got to get a better look than that we go up by two so the offense drops an insurance marker over the rocket as he's into the zone and gets smoked and Laval is going to come out the other way it's Teasdale in over the blue line he's going to try and cut into the center nice defensive play but it's turned over by Suzuki and whoa 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 the Rocket into the zone now as he cuts in, stops, goes up to Olafson at the point. He finds Riley, takes a shot. High glove save. We're down in the butterfly to make that one. Laval looking for that goal. This one in the slot. Big rebound. A huge save by Moose Malone. Stacking the pads. Keeping it out. Pellets are through the neutral zone to the outside. He's in for Laval. That pass intercepted by the captain. And Bailey's going to bring it out. Finds Lind on the breakout who finds Evans. He's going to take a look. And that one into the netting. Rafferty gets this one off the faceoff. Drops it to Evans. This one in. And our team takes a little dive at the goalie as well. Halfway through this third period. This shot off the faceoff. Just knocked away by the stick. And Utica will recover and send it in deep. Here's Teasdale for Laval as he breaks to the outside, stops, goes back to Brooke who finds Flurry. He takes a shot. The rebound lays there, but our defense able to clear it. Bailey works his way through the center, trying to get around. He's bumped, but recovers the puck, avoids one check as he sends it down to Lynn Center. Nice save, and he's going to have to reach for it. Gadjevich turns this one over. Nice heads up play and a save, and there we go. He finally gets it covered. Here's Bailey taking a look off a body, off the inside of the leg. That's got a sting. Joe Levy recovers this one. Centered to Bailey. He takes one. Nice stick save. Well, they're going to pull the goalie here. An extra man out. 58 seconds left in the third period as this one is rung around the boards. Picked up by Utica. Sent up the boards to Lind. Lind can't get it out of the zone as Watson battles for it up there. And Lind gets it to Evans. 45 seconds left as this one's into the zone. Lind with the empty net. He puts the bow on it. 3-0 Utica. Two insurance markers ahead. 40 seconds remaining. Audette into the zone for Utica. Tried to center it. Nice interception. Utica out the other way. 17 seconds remaining in this game as this one's over to Audette. Back to the point, and Rafferty is offside. 
13 seconds remaining. Faceoff won by Laval up to Griner. He's in over the blue line and dumps it in. Five seconds on the clock. This one behind the net, sent out. Two seconds, and Moose Malone has his first AHL shutout. And there you go, own the crease, a rare achievement unlocked. Very nice as the boys come out to celebrate. And look at that, our first pro shutout in the record books. Now we go on to face the Syracuse Crunch, and they are very, very important. Uh, a team we need to beat. All right, simulation screen, Syracuse, Utica in town. Let's go. First period underway, 0-0. Second period, 1-0 Syracuse. Spencer gets one past us. Let's go. Third period underway here. This one turned over. Di Giuseppe, whoa, right off the hop. Bailey taking a look. He'll stick handle back to Tevez at the point. Look for that goal. He has a lane on net. Takes a shot in McElhaney. As good as he always is. Nice glove save. Evans has it down low in front to Bailey, and we have it tied. Bailey again, Captain Clutch. 18th goal of the season for Bailey. Comes off a broken defensive play down low. It's turned over, and then it's sent across the crease, and all Bailey has to do here is clean that one up on the backhand. Well done. Definitely important to get that goal on the board. The boys are buzzing now as this one is behind the net. Gadjevic on the break in. Two guys on him, sent over. No one there to receive it. Gagne beats him to the puck and he's behind the net. Gagne to Gadjevic, he takes the shot and McElhaney takes that one up high. Gagne again around the boards and this one, oh boy. Delayed penalty, not good. So Audette is gonna sit. We go on the penalty kill here. Nice face-off win to start it out. Syracuse trying to set something up on the power play. Kachuk finds this guy into the zone and he'll get around a defender in on Malone. Not gonna be fooled by the footwork. And we'll just cover it up. Here's Radish, cuts around, still on the power play as he breaks towards the net. Bleakly recovers, sends it down. Yan into the zone for Syracuse on the power play, takes the shot, tried to go far side, and he'll miss just barely. Volkov in, finds Di Giuseppe, loads up a slap shot, and that one was a weird bounce off the end boards. We're going to clean that one up. Face off one by Utica, Tevez sends this one down. Stevens recovers. He'll send it over to Kachuk, who finds Volkov, and they'll break in again. Nice hit, but Berbele recovers. Here's Di Giuseppe. Tried to go far side, and he missed. So Syracuse unable to capitalize on the man advantage. We're even strength now as this one's sent to no one. Gadjevic recovers for Utica. Sends it over back to him. He gets poke checked, and he's pushed around here. Sent. Audette slap shot on net. Nice save. And his defenseman helps him clean it up. Still anyone's game here. Tevez sends it to his defensive partner and gets it back. Turned over as Volkov is in the right place at the right time. And he'll break in. Cuts to the center. Finds Di Giuseppe. He tried to load something up. Gadjevic into the zone. Takes a quick shot on McElhaney. And he'll make the save. Both goalies playing very well. Five-minute warning here in this third period. Rafferty to the outside on his backhand. Cuts to the center. And that puck doesn't make it on net. Gagne. Recovers for Utica, who finds Gadjevic, takes a weak shot. And they're going on the power play again. Not the type of penalties you want to be taken with four minutes left in a tied game. Stevens in for Syracuse, and that one is intercepted and sent down. Not a lot going on here for this Syracuse power play. 47 seconds remaining and not much offense to speak of. Here's Yan, he'll break in, finds Radish, who takes a shot every time I say that. They're gonna roof it there. It's 2-1 Syracuse. 15th goal of the season for Radish comes on the power play and it's just one of those plays where you gotta be in position and you gotta cut off the angle and we did neither of them and they have a one goal lead. So Syracuse goes up by one with 2.38 remaining in the third. This one back at the point. Kachuk has it, he takes a shot and it's loose. Let's cover the puck. Radish to Kachuk, he takes a shot at Moose Malone. Easy save, and it's turned on net again, and another big one. There we go, we're getting pulled here, sent to the bench. And they score! No way, no way! They tie it up! Eighth goal of the season for Gadjevic, ties this one up. Nice backhanded pass through the legs, it looked like. And he cleans that one up easy. Man, oh man, what a great pass. So with 43 seconds left, the Utica Comets tie this game up. 
Spencer has it for Syracuse. That one turned over, 32 seconds on the clock here, and he'll break it in. Here's Gadjevic. He stops up, back to Tevez. Tevez down low. McElhaney has to control that one. He'll cover it up. Face off one by Utica. Tevez up at the point. That one turned over. Odette recovers, and he goes back to Tevez, and he's getting stick lifted by foot. And let's see who recovers this one. It's out of the zone. Time ticking down. He finds Audette in the neutral zone, and it looks like we're going to overtime. All right, overtime period underway. Here's Bailey down low. McElhaney cleans it up to start this period. Nice play by Bailey to recover this one as he's into the zone. Down to Evans. He's behind the net, pushed against the boards. Looking for something there. Can't find it. Evans back to Rafferty. Back to Evans. To Rafferty. He takes a shot. He misses wide. Bailey one-on-one, -on -one. slap shot, tried to go short side and he missed. Here's Syracuse now, he's to the outside, takes a quick shot. He tried to go far corner, but he missed there. Evans breaks in, two on two with Bailey, sent to Rafferty, back to Rafferty in the slot. Nice save by McElhaney. Tense moments here in overtime, a minute 33 remaining. Let's see what happens. Face off, one by Utica, Rafferty takes a shot, that one off a stick. Lynn still has it, finds Rafferty wide open, went for the pass instead, and Bailey gets shoved from behind. Syracuse into the zone now over the blue line. He'll try and take a chop at it, but it's through some bodies and doesn't make it through. Here's Audette now. He takes a look, takes a shot, short side. Lind on the rebound off the backboards, nothing. Audette recovers for Utica. Send cross crease Rafferty. Nice save by McElhaney. Lind again down another cross crease. Audette sends it back. Let's keep the play going for the boys here. Less than a minute here, Audette cuts in towards the net. He'll take a look in the slot. He's pushed away, and Syracuse will recover. Volkov has it as he stick handles through the neutral zone. 45 seconds remaining on the clock. Finds Bear Boulay. Nice play by Audette, and he springs Bailey. The captain in on McElhaney. Nice save. Oh, my goodness. Bailey back to Evans. Evans to Bailey. Bailey to Evans. He takes a pot shot and he'll miss wide. All right, here's Syracuse now on the counterattack. He cuts in. Nice save by Malone off the blocker. Two on two. Evans to the outside. Centered and McElhaney has to dive for it. And he'll cover it up with 12 seconds remaining in this overtime period. Eight seconds left. Utica putting pressure on this shot. Tried to go far side. He'll miss. And it looks like, boys, we're going to a shootout. Okay, here's the shootout now, and Bailey in on McElhaney, taking a look. Nice poke check. DiGiuseppe breaks in on Moose Malone. We're going to go for a poke check and miss. Of course we are. Come on, Evans, please, for the love of God, roof this thing. Oh, he skates right into him. All right, we need to make a save on Bear Boulay as he breaks in. Easy poke check, get out of here. All right, do or die for Audette as he breaks in on the forehand, tried to go top shelf, and McElhaney stones him cold. That sucks, man. Ah, well, if you like NHL 20 content like this and wanna see more as this season continues to heat up, be sure to hit that subscribe button in the center of your screen. And if you're new here, there is an entire playlist where you can start from the beginning and watch the whole thing up until now. Until next time.